Hello, this is just a quick update to let you know how we expect to bring our presentations from now onwards. Uh, when we get the time, we'll bring presentations as we are doing right now. However, because of time constraints, that may not be possible every time. So we expect to continue using artificial intelligence the way we've been doing, that is AI. Now, before we continue with the artificial intelligence as we've been doing, there's uh, something I would like to mention. And uh, let me use the example of uh, the Bible. There are some people that uh, when you use uh, Bible on your phone, it's like sacrilege, something that shouldn't happen at all. Yet, I believe that even the hard copy Bible comes from the digital format before it's printed. Of course, we need to take precautions when using things like a digital Bible because, uh, for example, if it's on a phone, it's better if you turn the phone uh, to airplane mode so that you don't get distractions. On the other hand, it brings other advantages because things like cross-checking or doing references are easier. So it's not necessarily bad. Another example. A brick can be used to build a church. Bricks can be used to build a church. Bricks can also be used to build a bar or a brothel. The problem is not the brick. The problem is how it's used. So I don't think we should take time complaining, blaming, and bringing accusations and counter accusations about artificial intelligence. By the time we are doing that, we are still leaving the world to use it for evil purposes. I think it's time that we should use it for uh, spreading the gospel. It can make work easier. And anyway, in every generation, with every technology, people have complained. But those who kept complaining always remained behind while people adapted. Even writing on paper was a new technology at some point. So I think it's just fair for us to use artificial intelligence in a modest manner, of course, by the leading of the Holy Spirit, so that we don't let it take over. Uh, for example, if I use my own example, I um, don't know how to sing. I'm not good at singing. I can just... Uh, I love listening to music, but even when listening, there are some things that I still can't differentiate. Yet, with the AI, I can compose songs. Of course, I used to write poems even during my school days. But God willing, I'll share with you how you can do it even with the, without the knowledge of composing poems. So I think we can use these things to glorify God, to... Uh, spread the gospel. I just wanted to bring a quick update to let you know that uh, as much as I'll try to bring presentations personally the way I'm doing now, I'll also continue using artificial intelligence to help us spread the gospel. I also welcome your comments as we continue studying the Bible together. Another thing that I'd like to know you to know is that uh, we are studying the Bible, Pure Biblical Truths, uh, which is the theme of our online radio station, Bible Gospel Radio. Uh, that doesn't mean that everything will be smooth running. I know that we'll handle some controversial topics, but our intention is not to bring controversy, but to study what the Bible really says. So I welcome your comments. Let's study the Bible together. Thank you.